my fishes, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking all about the Aquarius Monofin, which in my opinion is one of the world's most underrated monofins. Totally almost hit myself in the head there. But I'm going to answer your questions, give you a little bit of a comparison. I've got a nice pile of monofins here, so let's just dive right in. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Phineas Aquarius. This is the original and I also have Gen 2 sitting over here. The main difference between these fins is their heel straps. As you can see, I've had to make, for the original, I had to make a little bit of a elastic friend here just to keep things secure while I'm swimming. That being said, this doesn't fit me as well as this one does. So regardless of the heel strap and how much I love the new design for the heel strap on this one, I have size 11 feet. So if you've got big feet like me, just keep that in mind. You might want to opt for the old style. They do sell both of these fins still on their website at finiseswim.com. You can check them out. They are listed there, so they have a couple of different colors. The original pink and the original blue have this, this strap. These range from $31 to $39 US. And if you use my discount code Mermaid Courtney, it'll also get you 20% off your purchase. This monofin has a lot of good qualities and a couple that aren't so good, but as a beginner monofin or a monofin for a teenager, somebody just getting into it. This was actually my monofin of choice. Back in the day before the Luna, I exclusively used this fin in my mermaid tails. Some of my most iconic mermaid tails were made using this fin specifically, including my very first printed mermaid tail of all time, the purple and yellow one that never got a name. We'll give it a name one day, I'm sure. But it also used this fin specifically. So when you do compare this monofin to the other monofins out there, price for what you get, this is definitely a good option. It's a very compact monofin. It weighs like nothing. Like, here's my pinky. Like, it weighs nothing. It is really easy to kick off, which is a great thing in terms of safety, especially for a more novice swimmer who needs to get out of it quickly. But the flip side of that is it does come off quite easily. So if you are looking at the older model, I did wear mine with socks, which helped immensely. So socks, a little bit of an elastic band around the strap and it was just problem freaking solved. It was on point. So let's tackle some of those burning questions that I know you guys have in regards to a comparison between the other big players that are out there. So we're going to start with the one that I feel in terms of who they're targeting is probably the most comparable and I would say that that would be the Junior Linden fin. Probably, I know that Finney's hadn't intended on this being necessarily an adult fin, though I am an adult and I was swimming in it. This is more of their kind of teen range and then the Luna is more of their adult range fin. However, this is the Junior Linden fin and you can have a quick kind of peekaboo look there. That's kind of what you're looking at in terms of size. Of course, there are pros and cons to both of these fins, but today we're featuring this one specifically. If you guys would like me to do comparisons on any of these other fins, be sure to leave me a comment down below and I can hop right on that for you. But that's kind of the shape that you're going for and the foot pockets. Where this one has two separate fo foot pockets, the Aquarius has one foot pocket. So you get a foot pocket that's separated by a piece in the middle here. Now I will say socks makes this extremely comfortable and kind of a non-issue for me. However, I do personally prefer the Luna for its two separate foot pockets, but that's a whole other video. We could talk about the Luna for days and days and days. You guys know how much I love that fin. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's how that compares with the kids body glove mermaid linden fin. Here is the adult size linden and here is the Aquarius. So that's probably pretty accurate to where they're positioned here. And you can see size for size, there is definitely, there is definitely a difference. We are catering to two different kinds of mermaids. Mermaids, if you've got monofins that people haven't talked about before, that I haven't talked about before, put a video out there. Let people know what you think about it and what your experience is. Purchasing a monofin is a very unique to you experience and what will work great for you with one fin might not be something you like about a different fin. So for me, the coolest part about the Aquarius is its maneuverability, even more so than the Linden. Comfort-wise, the Linden probably has the Aquarius beat. Price point-wise, the Aquarius has the Linden beat, but also maneuverability. This fin, you just a flick and you're in a different direction. A flick and you're in a different direction. It is really, really nimble. You're a very quick, nimble little mermaid. And you do get decent propulsion with this thing. Is it the biggest blade on the planet? No, but it is stiff. It's a stiff blade. Okay, next up is the Amp by Fin Fun. So I have the Amp here. Now in terms of size, I feel like these two are definitely 
probably actually these two are more comparable. The, the newer version of this fin fits more similarly to this one. I do kind of feel like the next step up if you're going from something like a fin fun or any of the other tail making companies that make them in this style, this would be a good option to experiment with to see how you feel about a different style monofin or one that's a little bit more traditional than this style foot pocket, but I'll give you guys the size comparison. There we go. And that's kind of what you're looking at. In terms of the width, this is very similar to a couple of the other monofins as well, but it gives you a little bit of an idea. It's definitely got its own aesthetic. And personally for me as a collector, I love to have, this is a little piece of mermaid history. So for me to have, I have a couple of them in my collection now. It's a little bit of a treasure as well as a little bit of a fun, kind of more of the pool toy variety hanging out. You want to have a couple of extra fins around for people who haven't tried a mermaid fin before because they're affordable, right? So you can have a couple of them kicking around for people to try and not really worry too much about what's going to happen to them because you, well, we've all been there. We all have that monofin that cost us like $400 to get into the country that there's no way on earth we would let anybody else use ever. And now we get to the big daddy monofins. We're looking at... Mm -hmm. I know, everyone's like, oh, it's Nerd Maid Faith's favorite and Courtney's least favorite. It's becoming a running joke, you guys. Look, I don't hate the company and I don't necessarily hate the fin. It's just not the fin for me. It hurts my feet, you guys, and you all complain about it too, okay? They're two very different aesthetics, two very different looks. So you should know all the facts before you dive on in. So this is gonna be, this is kind of funny because this monofin's teeny compared to this one, but there you go. So you can see that there. Now, if you actually had something that fit the Mahina, you could probably squeeze that in there because you can see the bones of it are actually, they actually do line up quite a bit. And overall, like you have more foot room when you compare the foot space. You can definitely see there's more wiggle room in here for like socks and things like that. This is much easier to deal with, to get on, especially if you're new. Okay, and last but not least, of course, how can anybody compete with the Luna? Nobody can. There is nothing that beats this fin for me. While they may appear very similar in color, because look at that. That's so cute. I love that so much. They are very different style monofins. So where this is a lot more nimble and quick and sort of flicky in its design, it's a much stiffer blade. It's not silicone. I'm just going to line these guys up here. And this is the size difference between these two fins. These are very very different fins for very different style swimmers, very different style mermaids. So I am not pushing any of these fins on you. This is purely to educate you guys and let you know what is actually available out there. If you're a new mermaid, you don't really know, you don't really want to invest hundreds of dollars in a monofin. This is a really good starter fin. And if you order with a couple of friends, they actually do 75 and up. I think it's free shipping within the US. And if you use my discount code, so if it's $40, it's like $32 if you use my discount code. Where are you gonna get? Where are you even exchanging that to Canadian dollars? You're still rocking it. You're still ahead of the game. And then you could grab one for you and one for a friend and you're good to go. It's a great starter fin. It's a great way to sort of get your feet wet as it were. Speaking of feet, my feet are totally asleep because I've been sitting on them the whole time. That's really good. But it's definitely a fin worth checking out. I say it's underrated because a lot of people give this fin grief because it has the sharp edges. I do have a lot of tutorials that will actually show you how to work with this as a specific issue that is known for this fin and how I actually work around it. So if I'm smart and I remember, I'll be sure to link that playlist of all of my tail making tutorials for you guys to check out. And again, if you want to grab yourself this fin, that's over at finneseswim.com. Links and everything for this fin will be in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you've got another fin you'd like me to talk about and sort of do a deep dive on, be sure to comment the name of that fin down below. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to chatting with you all again soon. Happy swimming. Bye.